Welcome to Certification Synergies, CompTIA, Linux Plus, XK0-005, Practice Exam. Questions 61 through 65. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 61. After transferring an SSH authentication key to a home directory on a remote server and moving it to the .ssh forward slash authorized underscore keys location for passwordless SSH connections, the administrator encountered a situation where the SSH command continued to prompt for a password. Subsequent investigation revealed that the SE Linux contexts had been modified. Which command should the administrator use to return the files SE Linux security contexts to their default settings? The answer is a restore con dot ssh forward slash authorized underscore keys. The restore con command is used to restore the se Linux security context of a specified file to its default settings. When se Linux contexts are modified, it can affect the security and functionality of the system, potentially leading to unexpected behavior. By running restore con dot ssh forward slash authorized underscore keys, the administrator ensures that the SE Linux context of the authorized underscore keys file is reset to its default state, resolving any issues related to SE Linux context modifications and enabling proper passwordless SSH authentication. Question 62. Which of the following commands will remove all dangling images and all images not referenced by any container? The answer is A. Docker image prune dash a. The docker image prune command is used to remove dangling images or images without an associated tag. The dash a flag extends this operation to remove all images, including those not in use by any container, essentially cleaning up the entire docker image cache. Question 63. A Linux system administrator wants to create an image file named backup dot IMG from the SDB disk and store it in the forward slash MNT forward slash backups directory. Which of the following commands should the administrator use to achieve this goal? The answer is B. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. First off, DD is a command used for copying and converting data. This base command is followed by the options if equals forward slash dev forward slash sdb and of equals forward slash mnt forward slash backups forward slash backup dot img. The if option specifies the input file, denoting the source disk from which data will be copied. In this case, forward slash dev forward slash sdb represents the source disk. Conversely, the OF option designates the output file, indicating the destination location where the copied data will be stored. Here, the destination is forward slash MNT, forward slash backups, forward slash backup dot IMG, which specifies the path to the image file to be created. Therefore, when executing this command, the system will read the contents of the SDB disk and write them to a file named backup dot IMG located in the forward slash MNT forward slash backups directory. Question 64. Which of the following commands will create a new user account for a temporary employee named Joe that will have an expiration date of April 13th, 2024? The answer is A. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. User add is the primary command used to create a new user account. The dash E option is used to specify the account expiration date. In this case, 2024-04-13 represents the date April 13th, 2024. Last, we have Joe. This is the username of the new user account being created. Question 65. A DevOps engineer is collaborating on a new project with their team and needs to download the project's Git repository onto their local machine for development. Which of the following commands will help the engineer achieve this goal? The answer is A. Git clone. 
The Git clone command is a powerful tool in the Git version control system that facilitates the process of obtaining a complete copy of a Git repository from a remote source. When executed with the URL of the repository as an argument, it not only downloads all files within the repository, but also retrieves the entire version history associated with the project. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.